People in tribute bands are very pleased to say we have Jay on the line today. Hello, Jay. Hi there. Uh, now, from that accent, I'm presuming you're of Scottish descent. I am, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whereabouts in the country do you live, though? Uh, Paisley. In Paisley. Before we ask you one or two questions about uh, your life outside of music, tell us about the band you're in. You're in Rockers Quoing. Yeah. And uh, how long have Rockers Quoing been, on, been going then? So this is a status quo tribute band. Yeah, it is. And, uh, so who's in the band? Um, I'm lead guitar. The rhythm guitarist is Peter Kelly. The bass player is Duncan McDonald, and the drummer is Scott Antico. And are you the youngest in the band? Uh, yeah. How old are the rest of them? <laughs> in Rough. their 40s. In their 40s, that's a very polite way of putting it. So they're in their 40s, yeah. and you still get the lead guitar gig? Yeah. Wow, that's all right, isn't it? So you're the Francis Rossi? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, right, OK. Do you look anything like Francis Rossi? I don't know. No. Do you wear the denim, though? Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, right, OK, that's right. So how long have you been playing guitar? Yeah, I've been playing since I was just six, so nine years. So nine years. So when did you first feel really confident playing a guitar to the point where, you know, you thought, I can get away with playing solos now? Well, my first gig was when I was eight uh, for a charity concert and it was really quite nerve-wracking. I sat at a table with two other people because I couldn't do it on my own. But yeah. about two years after that, I finally played a 15-minute slot on a, what, a proper stage with another like band right. that we just put together for that. So it was quite nerve-wracking, but it was really good once I get into it. And whose idea was it to form a status quo tribute band? Well, it was me and another guy who was the former rhythm guitarist of Rockers Quone. Right. And we started it up for a charity event, just the one gig. Yeah. Um, but we had a gig booked within two weeks of the first rehearsal because it was that good and we couldn't stop it. Really? Right, and that's how it's kept going ever since. So tell us, have uh, have uh, have the Quo heard you or seen you? Um, we played on stage in Sheffield at the Status Quo pre-show with bass player Rhino. Really? Yeah. So did you, so did you get to meet the whole band? Uh, I've, I met the whole band on Sunday. Oh. Uh, meet and greet in Glasgow. Really? Oh, I yeah. think oh, we'll get to that in a second because I think that's the answer to one of my other questions. Because when, so, how many times have you seen the Quo now? Twenty, maybe more than that. Well, when was the first time you saw them? Saw them when I was four in Carlisle. Four? Yeah. Four? Yeah. And so, what was that like then? What have you got? Any vague memories of what it was like? The well, obviously, it was much louder than a CD player. So <laughs> it was. Quite shocking, but I'm used to it now. So is that, so having seen them age four, did they automatically become your favourite band and that's yeah, why they're so Yeah, definitely, important to you? without yeah. a doubt. What is it about the quote that you really like? It's just it's the heaviness of the music, it's, it's just something about them, they're just brilliant. So what does everyone think at school then, where, where you go to school, what do they think about you being in a band? They don't, they, um, well, they don't really know who State's Quo is, so... Right. <laughs> <laughs> what? So they're, so what, are they into contemporary pop music or music in the charts? Yeah, that right. stuff. But aren't they still secretly jealous that you're actually in a band playing live on a stage? I don't know, I'm just... They're my friends, so... Oh, yeah, fair enough. And um, so, uh, just uh, talking of school, what's your favourite subject at school? Did you get to do music or is it... Yeah, I do music. Do That's music. probably my favourite subject. Right, OK. Anything else? English, art, any of those things? Math. Math? I like doing math. Oh, OK. Well, that's, that's good, because you can count eight and twelve bars. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you first saw the quo in uh, 2003, but you saw them very recently, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I saw them on Saturday and Sunday there, the 9th and 10th of March. And where and the O2 Academy. O2 Academy, what, in Glasgow? Yeah. And uh, so what's it like, this current set of gigs they're doing? It's the reunion concert, the original band. The line-up got back together for the first time in 32 years for a set of reunion shows. Uh, so it was, it was a dream come true, it was amazing. And well, is it strange, though, being probably one of the youngest people at the gig? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're a bit fatter than you, I imagine, some of them. 
<laughs> uh, it's always for your good day and bad day records, and we can play you uh, one to take us into the weekend if it's a good day. I mean, I suppose with so many Quo songs to uh, choose from, uh, it must be difficult. Uh, but status quo, don't waste my time. Is that your yeah. is that your favourite? Uh, yeah, my favourite Quo song. Why? It's just it's pro- uh, there's so many to choose from, and when you were f- when I was four, obviously they all come flooding in at once after the first gig, mm. and that's. The one that stood out for me most. Just think it's a brilliant song. And if it's a bad day, Thin Lizzy, Emerald. Yeah, that's one of my other favourite bands. I just think the guitar solos and stuff in these songs are just really hard to beat them. Mm. So I really like them. So it's, that's something which gets you going if you're feeling a bit down. Yeah, it is. OK, all right. So, just out of interest, have you got all of Quo's albums now? Pretty much, yeah. How, how many? How many does that total it, total up at? I don't know. Those hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just ima- I'm just trying to imagine your bedroom piled <laughs> high with yeah. Quo records. Uh, all right then. So, uh, well, we can't uh, we can't keep the listeners in suspense any longer. Is it a good day or is it a bad day? It's been a good day today. What have you done today? Played guitar. I bought a new guitar today, so it's, I always play guitar, but I bought a new guitar today, so. Really like it, so can't wait till that comes. And uh, what, what's uh, what's the new guitar? What types of what makes? End of Telecaster. Oh, here you go. Right. <laughs> okay. So, in honour of the Fender Telecaster, we shall play you your Good Day record from the Quo. Just uh, just before you go, though, have you got a website if people want to uh, look up the band? The band website is www.rockersquoing.com. And when's your next gig? Have you got anything lined up? Um, we're playing the Clyde Bank and District Golf Club on the 13th of April. Right. And we'll hopefully be down south on the 10th, I think, of October in Sheffield. OK. All right, we'll look out for you. And, uh, yes, rockersquoing.com if you'd like more information. Joe, you've been a brilliant sport. Have a great weekend. Thanks for coming on.